having trouble hearing you, Bill. Tampa, Florida. A once bustling college town, now getting an education in fear. For a giant creature has rampaged through this city, destroying the once scenic beachfront property and leaving behind only death, destruction, along with a few modestly priced, highly collectible limited edition t-shirts. Clearly life has found a way. Even in times like these, people persevere. You're brave enough to sell ice cream in this area, even with giant creatures roaming the area. Yes, sir. It's nice to see a true patriot. It's absolutely heartbreaking to see the death and destruction that has happened here. At one time, these were mansions as far as the eye could see. Eric Estrada lived here. Mary Tyler Moore here. I don't know why they moved to South Florida, but they did. And they came here, not by themselves, but with the rest of the intellectual and financial elite. And they lived here happily, but now, no more. Now a small shanty town has sprung up in their place, filled with the dregs of society. The homeless, those who know how to survive when a giant creature attacks. People who've lived off rat pelts and tomato cans and whatnot. I don't know what they eat, but you know, things we throw away. In all four corners of the globe, from Italy to India, from Chicago to New York, giant creatures have destroyed everything. Including the recent attack on the capital of entertainment, Hollywood, California, where a giant creature terrorized the band Big Time Rush. Oh no, a giant creature. What should we do? Probably run or something. Ah! 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 Ah!